The Peking Plan, or Operation Peking, was an operation in which three destroyers of the Polish Navy, the Borza, Bliskaka, and Grom, were evacuated to the United Kingdom in late August and early September 1939. They were ordered to travel to British ports and assist the British Royal Navy in the event of a war with Nazi Germany. The plan was successful and allowed the ships to avoid certain destruction or capture in the German invasion. Background The plan was created in order to remove the destroyer division, Die Wyzion Kontra Rapidaukau, of the Polish Navy from the Baltic Sea Operation Theater. The Kriegsmarine had a significant numerical advantage over the Polish Navy, and in the event of a war the Polish High Command realized that ships which remained in the Baltic Sea were likely to be quickly sunk by the Germans. Also, the Danish Straits were well within the operational range of the Kriegsmarine and Luftwaffe, so there was little chance for the plan to succeed, if implemented after hostilities began. On August 24, 1939, the British government, through Lt. Gen. Sir Adrian Carton de Villar, head of the British military mission, made strong representations to Marshal Edward Smigley Rides, commander-in-chief of the Polish forces, that the most modern elements of the fleet be evacuated from the Baltic Sea. Although Smigley Rides resisted the idea at first, he finally agreed. Part of Smigley Rides's reason for so doing was the idea of a Romanian bridgehead. It was hoped the Polish forces could hold out in the southeast of the country, near the common border with Romania, until relieved by a Franco-British offensive. Munitions and arms could be delivered from the west via Romanian ports and railways. The Polish navy would then be able to escort the ships delivering the supplies to Romanian ports. Docking at Edinburgh As tensions between Poland and Germany increased, the commander of the Polish fleet, Counter Admiral Józef Unrug signed the order for the operation on August 26, 1939, a day after the signing of the Polish-British Common Defense Pact. The order was delivered in sealed envelopes to the ship's command. On 29 August, the fleet received the signal Peking, Peking, Peking from the Polish commander-in-chief, Marshal Smigley Rides, execute Peking. At 12.55 hours, the ships received the signal via signal flags or radio from the signal tower at Oksiwi. The respective commanders of the ships opened the envelopes and departed at 14.15 under the command of Commander Porosnik Roman Stankowicz. Bliskaka was commanded by Commander Porosnik Vlodzimesz Kodrebski, Borza by Commander Potporosnik Stanislaw Nahorski and Grom by Commander Porosnik Aleksandr Hulevich. The ships sailed without any problems through the Baltic, entering Orisund after midnight. In the passage they encountered the German light cruiser Königsberg and a destroyer, but as the war had not yet started there was no combat. The Polish ships then passed through the Katagat and Skeyarag. On 31 August, the ships were spotted and followed by German reconnaissance seaplanes, and the group changed course towards Norway in order to shake off the pursuit during the night, when they returned to their original course towards the UK. The ships entered the North Sea, and at 0925 on 1 September learned about the German invasion of Poland. At 1258, they encountered the Royal Navy destroyers HMS Wanderer and Wallace, and received a liaison officer. At 1737, they docked in Leith, the port of Edinburgh. Aftermath The Peking plan generated controversy in Poland, but it proved to be a wise decision. The ships and their crews served alongside the Royal Navy throughout the war, the ORP Borza and ORP Bliskaka survived the war, whereas the ORP Grom was sunk on May 4, 1940 in the Rombaken Fjord, near Narvik, during the Norwegian campaign. On the other hand, all the other surface ships of the Polish Navy which had remained in the Baltic were engaged in sunk or captured by the German fleet, starting with the Battle of the Gdansk Bay on 1 September. The fate of the remaining two largest ships is telling, the 4th Polish destroyer, Bikair, and the heavy minor layer Griff, the largest ship of the Polish Navy, were both sunk by 3rd of September, the third day of the war. As for the Germans, in the face of the Peking plan on 30th of August, they recalled from the Baltic Sea the tactical unit which had been assigned to engage them, the three light cruisers Nornberg, Kulm, and Leipzig, under Vice Admiral Hermann Dench.